Hello, my name is Randy Dietrich. I'm the son of Sandy Dietrich, husband to my beautiful wife, Tiffany, and the proud dad of three spectacular children. My mission is to add value to others. I believe in the power of the human spirit. And thank you for listening. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please share with a friend. Help me spread the good, the clean, the pure, the positive. When there is hope in our future, there is power in our present. Hi, everyone. How are you? I hope you're having a spectacular week. And you know, this podcast is unlike any other podcast out there. This is going to be a perspective on America that hopefully changes the projection of America. You know, with the election coming up, I've been doing a lot of thinking about America and where it is and where it needs to go. And you know, that's what prompted me to write this podcast. You know, I believe the foundation of America is the belief, the hope that it's an honest system. It's a system that us Americans, we can count on and trust in, that we, we put effort into our job, we put effort into our careers, our vocation, and we get a return from our efforts. That's what America is based on. We can count on the government to be fair and honest with us. We can trust that our money, the money in our 401k, it's safe. We can count on the higher ups in our organization to make the best decision for our interest. We can count on them. We can count on our coworkers to support us and have our backs no matter what. We count on our fellow Americans to follow all the rules and do what's right. In other words, in America, we trust each other. Is that the way it really is? I don't think so. I wish it was like that. I wish that's the way America is. That's the way America was. I feel like we've lost our way. At one point in America, it was like the way I just described it. Today, <laughs> trust in the government is at an all-time low. Trust in corporations barely exists. I mean, think of Enron and all the crazy things that go on in this world. Trust of fellow Americans, it's never been lower. Where once ethics, morals, and trust was the foundation, today, America is trying to legislate itself into a great country. But that's not possible. The problem with this is that legislation is the most expensive thing in the world. Where trust... Trust is the most efficient thing in the world. No nation has ever legislated itself to greatness. Not one ever in the history of the world. That's because laws don't make a great nation. It's not the laws. Greatness is found in the hearts and the minds and the souls of the citizens. That's where the greatness of America lies. It's the people that make a nation strong, not the rules of the law. That's not where it's at. I mean... If rules and legislation was the answer, there would be no need for the New Testament. Think about that. The Old Testament was about rules and laws. The New Testament was about relationships. So how do we make America a place where the most efficient thing in the world rules? Trust. Well, I think this nation starts with these words, we the people. Those are the first words on the document that started this country. We the people. It's we the people. The people are the nation. It's not the laws. It's not the government. We the people. We are the nation. We are the United States of America. It's of small matters what happens in Washington, D.C. compared to what happens in the hearts of the people. We the people can change everything. If we change our hearts, we change the nation. If we change our outlook, we change the nation. If we build hope, we change the nation. We the people hold the key to make this a great nation of values and ethics and morals and to create a world where people trust people. Trust is where it's at, guys. In a world where everybody trusts everybody, there is no need to double check or double count anything. In fact, I say all the time, trust is the most efficient thing in the world. This is why Blue Ridge is what it is, by the way. Blue Ridge is so efficient because we trust everyone. So far, so good. It's been 10 years. It's possible. Let's all commit to doing the right thing every time, no matter, no matter who's looking or even if no one's looking. Let's be on time. Be the person of your word. Build relationships by doing small things often for everyone around you. Treat people with respect. Show someone some grace. Smile at people you don't even know. Man, I do it all the time. 
walking through airports, I smile at everyone. You'd be shocked of how many people smile back. More than half. Have dinner with your family around the, the table at night. Hold your wife's hand. Read bedtime stories. Kiss your children when you, they go to bed. This is what will make America great. You cannot write a law to make a nation great. It's not in the legislation. The greatness of the whole is the sum of its parts. And we are the parts. And the nation's the whole. We make up the part. We are the parts that make it great. And if we get great, the whole thing gets great. I'm talking about patience that endures, kindness in action, faith that prevails, gentleness of hearts, and strength in our spirit. We should never set a law above these qualities because these qualities, every single one of them, they are meant to be limitless and the law limits them all. To change the nation, it'll happen one heart at a time. It'll happen one family at a time. But I promise you, if we look in the mirror and go, how can I improve what I'm looking at? We will make this nation a great place. I love y'all. Hope it added value to your life. It sure added value to mine. See you soon.